Well, we're joined now by Anjum Chowdhury of Islam for UK and by Majid Nawaz from the counter extremism think tank, the Quilliam Foundation. I see in your statement today that this decision, in your judgment, is a victory for Islam and for Muslims. How does that work? Well, absolutely, because um, if you believe in something, then it should be good for all times and places. The government uh, uh, advocate democracy and freedom. Supposedly, their own soldiers are dying for freedom and democracy in Afghanistan. And yet, when we expose their foreign policy, as we did with the mere suggestion of having a procession in Wooden Bassett, suddenly you find that freedom uh, dissipates and you have dictatorship. Uh, and, and how's the uh, campaign to move Britain over to Sharia law coming along? Well, this is in the hands of God. We mm. do our best Going to propagate well? Islam. Well, of course it is. I think many people will see that democracy and freedom is no good for the British, no good for Afghanistan, and in mm. fact, we need an alternative. Unlike man-made law, the Sharia is not something which gives you a right today to take it away tomorrow. It's good in all times and places. Okay. What is I, yeah, yeah, Siri, I, to make this an issue of freedom and democracy is absurd. And, um, you haven't had a hair on your body touched by this government or this country. You haven't spent a day in prison. You haven't suffered one bit for your views. You're allowed to sit here right now because of freedom and democracy. In your so-called caliphate, you'd have me killed, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you have me... Am I an apostate that deserves death? Oh, well, I mean, obviously, Answer Majin the Nawaz, Majin Nawaz is part the of an apostate organisation called the Quilliam right. so, so, Foundation. So, 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 would you have he's, he's paid, would he's he's paid, paid he's paid by Alan Johnson and Gordon Brown to say what he's saying. And so how many surprised. thousands of pounds a year do you get this, on this benefits? This man gets uh, uh, two million pounds with his, uh, uh, and his organisation in, in order to fight and against okay. Islam Muslims. Look, he's asked you two questions. Firstly, under your caliphate, he would be executable, would he? He would be judged uh, by right. an Islamic judge, and okay. then after that... And his second question... Receive. Okay, his second question, did you hear that? Repeat the second How many thousands of pounds are you receiving from the British government every year on doll money? On money. I receive nothing at all from the British government. Are you on the government? Are you on the At the end of the day, when you lose the argument, when you lose the argument, it's very right. easy so to So now I'll ask you again. Have you had a hair on your body touched by freedom and democracy? The fact is, for both of you, obviously, and the five-minute clip that you played here, I'll tell you something. All of you are in one camp, the camp of non-Islam against the camp of the Muslims. So what's the verdict those in the camp of non-Islam? Do we deserve death? Do we deserve death? You have already played a clip five minutes long. In order to demonise the, the Muslims, there's a bunch of lies told by, uh, by Mr. Anjum. Watson in that clip. Anjum. It will take me five minutes at least to review all of Do those. Do we deserve death? And on, on top of all Anjum. of that, you is have our a blood in origin permissible for you to take? Propagating what the government wants to do. Can you answer any one of my questions? At the end of the day, we're, we're we are not, people. We're not can, getting, you can gang up on us okay, as much as you want. Ultimately, Islam will prevail. I want to ask you, just a second, hang on a second. What is gained by banning an organisation? You may think he's talking nonsense, yeah. but what's gained by stopping him talking well, nonsense? On this very show, a lot of money by Marjorie okay. Nawaz. Okay. Right. Okay, hang on. on this very show, I oppose the government in banning Hizb ut Tahrir. There's a yeah. clear difference, even though that was government policy at the time. And the difference is that there are over 20 members or affiliates of his group that are serving in prison on terrorism offences. I met members of his group in a Lashkar Taiba training camp in Pakistan. These people described the 9 11 lying, attackers as the magnificent. We've got the list. Well, no, these no, people believe. The day, these people believe to say that, that the blood by the government. These so people, that's the only reason he's saying Anjum, allow me to finish one thing. Hang on, my friend. Listen, Marjorie, you are not I've, as known you as you I've known you for over 15 years. I've known you for over 15 years. No, I've never met you before. Yes, you have. You are my solicitor in the East Ham murder case. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Marjorie? Wake up to the world. Why you are you not my solicitor in the East Ham murder case? You cannot deny that there are, as he says, members of your organisation convicted of crimes serving sentences yeah, and why, in prison. Why were they convicted? You have uh, people fine, in prison. Okay. Wait a second. No. So you, you just people. denied it, now wait you admit it. No, no, wait a second, Jeremy. Let's have a look at the facts. You have people so, holding placards at a demonstration against yeah. the cartoons. There's a man who held a placard uh, about Denmark. He got six years for holding a placard. Has, and yet you I'm have... Done, has has freedom and, and yet you have pedophiles and murderers. You've you spent a day in prison. Getting suspended have sentences. Spent a day in that prison is, that is the Britain that we live in today. It is an apartheid system. The Muslims are treated as... Oh, apartheid system. You need to wake up, you need to, wake up to the reality. Them. I'm not being at least they're not executed. You need to wake up to the reality of the situation. If I'm judged an apostate by a Sharia court judge, will I be executed in your caliphate? Answer that question. You know very well that you have left the deen of al-Islam because you side with enemies Answer of Islam the against the Muslims. As a judge... Well, yet, the one who stands with them is one so of them. So will I be executed you know as well. an apostate well, in your you caliphate? Know what you've the you've asked him about, about apostasy. apostasy. These are this, the this, this question is getting into Michael Howard levels. You've asked it dozens of times. You're not going to answer Submit yourself. You're not going to answer the question, right? Well, it's a ridiculous question. He knows the answer to it already. Well, the public don't answer the question, do they? I think they will draw their own conclusions. Let's deal with the real issue. If you are so confident of your position, 
Will you be appealing against this decision? We don't appeal because we don't believe it's allowed to appeal to man-made law. Secondly, we have had the most support we've ever had well, by, case, by following the ban this morning by Alan Johnson. We have been inundated with, uh, with calls and emails from Muslims and non-Muslims to say that they support us. And quite frankly, they're disgusted by the government who, on the one hand, advocate freedom and democracy, but when it comes to people who want to practice you know, their own, if you like, views under their own, the realms of their own uh, uh, law, that's suddenly exactly that becomes you're doing the tradition. The BBC. At the end of the day, at the end of the, right day, at the, end of the, day the point is, given the point the right is to that this is a great in victory for Islam and Muslims. Banned. And... Yeah. Well, and you would be. You, I mean, you never, wouldn't be you around in this. Yeah. You wouldn't be around this caliphate. But listen, yeah. don't you think tactically, whatever you think yeah. about yeah. nutty views, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, views which you two are presenting yeah. today, uh, uh, profoundly yeah. held convictions, whatever well, you want well, to call. Well, let me ask you something, Jeremy. Do you no, hang on, I'm asking. I'm asking. Uh, I'm asking him a question. You hang on. But you're using. It is. Is it not counterproductive to wait until something potentially provocative happens, which it doesn't happen in the end because they called it off? like this march in Wooden Bassett, yeah, and yeah. then to impose a ban on their right Absolutely. to say things. And that's a, that's a mistake the government has made. These, well, these people should have well, been banned when they set up Islam for UK, and it's wrong well, of the government to suddenly well, decide to ban them. They should have been banned from the beginning. They are different to Hizbut Tahrir, though they're an offshoot of but, Hizbut Tahrir. They do promote and glorify of violence. Of course you are. Well, well, Bakri was the leader of Hizbut Tahrir in this country. To accuse us with all these lies. Well, you made not, that point well, already. Hizbut Tahrir one day in your life. Have you never been a member of Hizbut Tahrir? Have you never been with Hizbut Tahrir in your life? I've never been a member of Hizbut Tahrir. Have you been a Daris? Have you been a student of Hizbut Tahrir? Can you answer that question? I'm, uh, answer one of my questions. The point is, yeah, the point is, Marjorie, right. the Korean right. Foundation right. is well, going to be wild because you're old people, you're going to expose you quite okay. shortly. All right. Okay. Quite shortly. Okay. All right, chaps, you can continue this elevated dialogue outside. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.